Hey guys, Rob here, Five Points Lawn and Landscape. Coming to you on a beautiful uh, Saturday. Nice sunny afternoon down here in uh, Ontario. A little self-isolation going on, I guess. We're just kind of staying close to home. And, um, you know, just laying low. See what's gonna, all gonna, gonna happen and just looking after ourselves. So, uh, I'm just gonna give you a little tour today of uh, what's going on at our place. So, since last year, uh, my boy got his license in the summertime, so we picked up this little uh, Ford Ranger to help us out. And I had this uh, boat trailer uh, uh, that a neighbor down the road gave me. And I converted it, and uh, we, put, we put a deck on it and wood sides on it. And just this week, I put this, uh, or yesterday and today, I put this steel railing on it. And um, I'm just working on getting it painted over here. Not the greatest a welder, but... Not handsome nor handy, but we can make things work. And I uh, picked up some LED lights. Uh, there was new wiring on it last year, but I popped a couple of new LED lights on there, so that should help us out for this year. So we use this just a little bit for heading into town. Um, I look after a big ballpark, just just not that far. Just You can almost see it from here, really. It's just, just a mile or two down the road there. And, um, and we do a lot of properties right in town. So my son takes this into town and and uses this and works out pretty great so that's that's something going on second trailer for us <clears throat> from from what we were doing before so uh there's my tractor and yeah that's just what's going on there so uh this earlier uh, i guess it was december or i started around the first of january i guess and i put this porch on the shop here the front of the shop just looked terrible it was faded uh, paint steel and I put some board and batten on here and um, got this all fixed up and we made some uh, we had this little end piece on here and we'll put some nice doors on here so we can keep keep um, you know we got a couple a couple of four wheelers in here and parts and pieces and things like that so but anyway I'm uh, I'm really happy with this it, it turned out pretty well and, and took a long time and I use some shelving that uh, where my daughter works, um, and we use that for uh, for the roof. So that was kind of cool. So we've got some chickens over here. They'll have a little something to eat. Um, my youngest son is making a garden here, so that's what that's for. And we've got a little PVC greenhouse going here, and uh, we're gonna get that going next week, so that uh, we can grow a few things here. So. Um, here's the old Ford. It's hanging up pretty good. Just needs a bath, but uh, worked out pretty well this this year. Um, yeah, that was kind of good. We got that plow for it. We, we didn't have very much snow this winter. Very little, really. But we, you know, it wasn't too bad. Here's a trailer. This is actually my son's trailer. My son just turned 22 the other week, and uh, he started his own full-time junk removal service. And I can't believe how much work he picks up doing this. He, for people just cleaning up junk, and uh, he just did a construction site yesterday and cleaned up all their lumber because they didn't have room to have a bin there. So, yeah, he, he keeps busy at that. <clears throat> Here's our landscape trailer. This is uh, this is the one we normally use. Uh, I'm going to be painting it next week. It's only really. A year and a half old i guess but i i do tow it around in the winter a bit so it's got a little bit of salt damage but so anyway going to give that a going over next week and give it a paint and um yeah we'll have that <clears throat> ready to go in a couple of days we'll take the wheels off check the brakes uh, i got a flat tire there we're going to get that fixed and the other side has a um i think there's a seal gone on the back because there's a lot of grease laying around there so we're going to get that fixed up and then that'll be ready to go for the year. So I've got this uh, buyer's spring assist on there. And I think I'm going to do is I'm going to put another one on this side. And I'll just make that just a little bit, just a little bit better. So, and I think I'm going to get one for this trailer too. So there's a wood in laying in the trailer there. That'll be the wood sides for, for that. And um, yeah, that, this is a handy little outfit. Just we can put a stand on mower on there and and uh, take that right into town and and we water um we do some we water some plants in town 10 planters and we put 10 liter jugs 
full of water and fertilizer and we slip those right in the back of that ranger and just zip around town and, and put those in that that truck's a lot a little it's a lot fun and it's it's just really handy so we, we really like that and uh yeah things are going things are going pretty good so okay come on inside here guys where it's a little bit warmer uh pretty good day outside above freezing but still kind of cool but not too bad so we got the wood stove going there today and uh, just kind of getting keeping things warm in here so and here's just a quick little tour of the shop um, I'm gonna do a maybe a setup video later on but I uh, just thought I'd give you guys a, a tour here what things are, are going on and I uh, built some new shelves last week just trying to make a little bit more room um, a couple of the push mowers here these uh, these Toro Super Recyclers are great. I know Richie Plemons says he wears them out so quick. I don't know if he's ever tried one of these, but uh, I just picked this one up used uh, from a fella, just I think it was between Christmas and New Year's, for 350 bucks. And he's had it two or three years on a small lawn. And, you know, um, I would I would use it as much in, you know, a couple of weeks as he's, he's used it the whole time he's had it. So to me, this is like having a month-old mower. And I know these are they're around seven or eight hundred bucks now to buy. So I've got one here, and uh, I've had this since 2015. You see, it's got a number two on it. And I used to have another one, but when all my equipment was stolen, the number one went went with it. So, and this here is all my. Um, I just built this last week, and uh, these are all my trimmers and chainsaws that I've got hooked up. Uh, for this year and just did a little reorganizing so anyway that's just a bit what we got going on here's also uh, bought a new Titan in December and um, uh, I had some trouble with this one some fuel issues and uh, starter issues so we um, we needed something that could bag leaves because this was down for a little bit so I, I didn't want to get hung up so I I went and bought a, a Toro Titan 1500 HD, and uh, I've only got 10 hours on it so far, but we're going to put it through its paces. So, Anyway, that's about it, guys. That's just some of what we've got going on, and I'll do a little setup video later on. So I uh, hope everybody's doing well and, and, and taking care through all of this. So you uh, have a great day. Thanks. Bye.